Hello everyone, this is John Stearns from Zoom, and this is a quick demonstration of our newly released Zoom Rooms feature called Smart Gallery, really. And to set the context here, really what we set out to do was really build um, the inclusive, democratized hybrid meeting of the future, where uh, it is going to be a mixture of people working from home, joined in from their laptops and personal devices, as well as people back in the physical conference room, joining in from conference rooms with peers in the room. And really, we set out to make sure that those types of meetings were inclusive and that they represented everyone that's a part of that meeting, regardless of where they're working, regardless of how they joined in there, the same way. They're all prominently shown, regardless of who's speaking. Um, and that's really what we set out to do. So I want to show you some of the experiences here on a Zoom room. So the first thing I'll say is that the industry's come a long way, right? We went, uh, we started off with uh, manual pan tilt Zoom capabilities on video conferencing. Right, uh, we had camera presets to you know show different parts of the conference room. That's really where we all started off. This has been around for decades at this point. Um, then came auto framing and uh, incorporating AI into the conference room uh, meeting experience, where now all of a sudden we can do things like speaker tracking or framing of the actual people in the conference room to deliver a much better experience, right? The manual pan tilt zoom and camera presets that was very reliant on the user to be switching between what the, uh, the far end was seeing in that conference room. Um, auto framing took that out, right? So now all of a sudden, no one has to control the camera. The camera will automatically readjust and, and frame me back into position here. You know, as I move throughout the conference room, the training room, the classroom, regardless of the scenario, um, you know, you have kind of a built-in producer for that meeting experience, always picking and choosing and delivering the best possible view of that conference room at any given time. Um, so with speaker tracking and auto framing coming out a few years ago, this really brought the industry forward. Uh, but we didn't stop there, right? Based on feedback from customers uh, that they wanted to um, have a better representation of the individuals in conference rooms, so they're shown more prominently on the screen during a Zoom meeting in that Zoom gallery view, right? It, they didn't want it to be dominated by speaker tracking and only showing the one person in that room who's speaking. So that's really where this concept was born from, right? And the first step there is something that we call neat symmetry, right? Where now all of a sudden, um, all of the people that are in my home office, my conference room here, including some of my demo props, um, are shown prominently here, right? It automatically framed all of us into separate uh, segments of this stream. And this is a much better representation of the people that are in uh, the conference room here. Of course, we have Vice President Harris. We have uh, CEO Eric Yuan, uh, CEO of Zoom. We have my sons, Ryan and Jack, uh, helping me out with demos here today. And you'll notice that as I even stand up, um, it will still auto frame people as they move around, but there's now you know, all these different views that are much more up close and personal of the people that are in these physical conference rooms. With Smart Gallery, we took it even a step further. So now all of a sudden, when I turn on Smart Gallery, what you'll see is now it will show um, an auto-framed view of the entire room, showing all five of us in here, my two sons, Eric, Vice President Harris, and myself. Uh, but what it also does is it creates two additional streams being pushed out of this Zoom room, right? This is a single camera Zoom room, and now it's pushing three separate streams. One is the whole room view, giving context to the people that are in that conference room together. And then it breaks up two of the other streams to show myself prominently next to Vice President Harris. We also have my two sons um, you know, in the quadrant with our CEO of Zoom, Eric Yuan. Um, so this is a much more personalized, uh, much more democratized, equitable experience, uh, especially as you start to add a lot more remote participants into these meetings. And you start to add more and more conference rooms now you'll have that up close and personal feel. Everyone is represented prominently in this experience. That's really what we set out to do. So Smart Gallery is now live on Neat and Poly Zoom Room appliances. Um, you're, you're ready to roll with uh, starting to test these out. I will link the help article on um, setting this up into the, uh, into the, the summary and chat on, uh, in this video. And uh, you know, certainly look forward to getting feedback. We've got a really robust platform of where we're taking Smart Gallery from here into the future. Um, but this is uh, something we're very proud of and we look forward to your feedback. Thank you for sticking around for the demo.